As you may have heard, Live 12.1 adds a new drum sampler. But what does this device add to Ableton's DAW that couldn't be done with existing devices? Th so the way I see it, the drum sampler is mostly about the convenience of having all the tools that you need to process percussive sounds all in one place. M yes, most if not all the things you have in the drum sampler can be done with simpler sampler and the effects devices in life, but the layout, features and type of processing are all optimized for drums. So getting the desired result is quicker and you actually get really, really good results as you will see later in the video. The pitch envelope especially is a bit of a cheat code for adding punch to your drums and it's definitely my favorite feature of the drum sampler. So let's have a very, very quick overview of the device and then I'm gonna show you how I would actually use it in a beat making session, actually more of a sound design session but we'll still make a beat. So first of all, if you want to be able to just drag and drop samples onto the drum rack and have them load in the drum sampler instead of simpler, just load up an instance of the drum sampler inside of the drum rack, right click on the pad and hit save as default pad. And now you can just drag and drop any sample onto the drum rack and it will automatically load it in the drum sampler. You got the sample section here where we can choose the starting point the length and turn up or down the gain of the sample. Attack, hold, decay, just a basic envelope. And you can transpose, detune, and there is the mode. So with the trigger mode, the sample will play all the way through, regardless of how long you hold the note. And with the gate mode, you can control the decay of the sample. So, so this will determine how long the sample will play after you let go of the key. And then you got the main thing about the drum sampler, the most interesting part, which is the effects section. You got a bunch of cool effects, but the only thing that most people are not happy about is the fact that you can't really use them simultaneously. You can choose only one of these effects. Then you got this cool XY pad that enables you to control both parameters with your mouse. You got a filter. Pretty cool filter with several different modes, a basic mixer section, the ability to control how much velocity affects the volume. And then you got the mod section where we can map velocity to some nice stuff like the filter, attack, hold, decay, and you can even map it to the effect parameters. So different velocities that you program in your MIDI editor can result in different sounds for each note. For example, I've got this snare here and I've got the velocity mapped to effects two, which is the grain size of the stretch effect. So I can have different sound for each snare by programming different velocity values. Okay, so let's check out a more practical example now and try to make a beat. And I'm not gonna be using it just for drums. Let's use it for some melodic one shots as well who says you need to only use it for drums. So I've already got a drum rack with a couple of instances of the drum sampler and I've already programmed a beat and let's see what we can do with it. Pretty basic drums, let's see what we can do with the kick drum. Maybe we can add some punch to the kick with the pitch envelope. It just adds a slight click in the beginning of the kick. I just wanted to add that in order to have this click in the beginning, you need to have a very, very short decay. Pay attention to the decay value. So this pitch envelope is really easy to dial. It's actually easier to do it here than using simpler speech envelope, especially for drums, because the whole thing about the drum bus is that everything is optimized for percussive sounds. And it's a subtle difference, but I think you get the idea. Actually, it makes quite a nice difference. So on the mod section, we got velocity to filter and it's set up for us to be able to do those ghost kicks. So for example, this kick here, if we turn down the velocity and we need to enable the velocity to filter, 
so we can have those ghost kicks have a bit of a more muffled sound. I will add, we can do it with these kicks here as well. So only the main kicks will have a really open punchy sound and those ghost kicks will have a more muffled sound. Okay, pretty good so far. Let's go with the snare. Uh, there are many things we can do with the snare. We can also try the pitch envelope. Actually, the pitch envelope is starting to be my favorite of all these effects because it really, really enhances the attack of the drums. It would have been nice to be able to use more than one effect at a time. Punch adds a bit of a compressed sound. I don't like it so much in this on this particular snare. The, the FM may be nice. And so we cannot use more than one effect. So what I want to do now is maybe I will resample it. Just create a new audio track. Just set the audio track to resampling. All right, so now I resampled the snare with the FM and now I can apply the pitch envelope. Again, I don't want to overdo it. So with the hi hats, maybe we can go, we can try something with the loop. If we can find a nice loop, it can add to the groove. But you know what, with a drum sampler you can use any one shot and not just drums. So I'm using sounds from my sample pack called The Heat, by the way. If you haven't checked it out, link will be in the video description. All the sounds will be from this pack. So let's try those chord one shots. <laughs> Just a simple chord progression. Let's try the FM on this stab. It's like the stab is talking to us with this FM. All right, let's try a bass. What we can do with this bass, maybe the 8 bit. Let's go, let's try some vocals. So, one thing I don't quite like about the drum sampler is that. Setting up the start and end points is really hard if you're not using one shots, so it's not really meant for using longer loops, but I would like to be able to maybe just isolate a single note from this vocal sample. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like if you did, comment down below, let me know what you think about the drum sampler and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Check out my packs from the link down in the video description, the sounds are great, I promise you heard some of them in the video. 
and hope to catch you in the next one.